Hey, welcome back. Uh, I've got another Easy Drummer 3 video here for you. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually answering a question that was sent to me by a viewer <clears throat> in regards to the... A uh, couple of videos ago or a video ago, I'm not sure where I addressed it, but I was talking about how sometimes you'll pull in a MIDI file that was recorded at a different tempo. And even though Easy Drummer will adapt that file to the new tempo, um, you'll have instances where maybe a drum fill won't quite fit, or maybe a flam hit, or some sort of tom roll. It'll sound like either rushed or maybe b uh, a bit delayed. So I wanted to show you the workaround that I do for that. Um, and I uh, thought we'd walk through it together, just to give you an example. So. What we're going to do is I'm just going to add the standard default groove. I'm just going to play it for you. Okay, so what we're going to do for the sake of this video, I'm going to kind of go extreme with this. So I want to turn this into a swing beat. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that file. I'm going to left click that file. And if you double left click it, automatically your grid editor will open. And as you can see, I have a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat pattern that is playing on that file. That's what it's telling me. Now, the great thing about uh, ToonTrack and Easy Drummer, they give you many ways to go about getting to an issue. So again, this is my preferred way. Uh, you may find other ways that work for you, and that's the whole point. That's great. I'm just giving you the way that I do this that worked out for me. So. Uh, they do give you the ability to select all, everything that's playing, and make your massive edit that way. I choose not to do that. I like to do things in small increments. That's me personally. So what I'll do is I'll click on the kick first, and you can see it highlights all of the kick notes. I then will click on this timing box here, okay? And that brings up some different options we can do. Well, what I want to do is I want to make this beat into a swing beat again. So just a little refresher course one more time so you can hear the beat as it is. Okay, so highlight the kick, swing all the way to the right, 100%. Snare, highlights all the snares, swing all the way 100%. Hi-hat. Highlights all of the hi-hat, swing all the way. Okay, let's take a listen. Metronome on. Pay attention right here. Ah, you guys heard that, right? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Those little funky areas you may get that will kind of throw you off a little bit. So this is how I work around it. Again, I'll play it for you so you can hear it. With the metronome. Okay. So what I do is, just like I did here, I'm going to take individual instances. Make sure I have my pointer on, not my pencil tool. Click here. Swing. Click here. Swing. I'm going to leave that last hit now. Now let's see what it sounds like. I like it. The velocity level may give me some apprehension on that a little bit. So what I'll do on that, I'm going to highlight all three of those. Okay. I'm going to click on the humanize. Now, as you can tell, it tells you what it does here. It's going to increase the realism by adjusting velocity and micro timing of the program notes. Okay. Applies to selected notes and pencil tool. All right, so we're applying it to these three. Watch what happens here. Ch 
just like a real drummer. Very, very cool, right? Okay, now let's play that track from the beginning. Remember, this is where we started. Okay, right there, all I did was option left click and drag and I want to see now how it feels going into that same beat right here if that feels very natural let's take a listen I dig it. I dig it. Sounds very natural. Sounds like a real drummer. And again, a real easy fix, guys. So the whole point of this video was don't get discouraged if you get a file and you're just like, oh my gosh, it's like 90% there, but it's got this rushed pattern or it's delayed and it sounds weird and it sounds off. An easy fix. Grid editor is going to be your best friend. So use it. It's there. All right. Okay, guys, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Take care. Later.